is squish, I'm an amoeba dude. A tiny little cell with a giant attitude. This is Pod Break It Down. We are microscopic cells in a microscopic town. I'm Peggy. I'm Peggy Paramecium. Yes! Yes! We're happy and we're slimy. And sometimes we're just a mess. This is Small Pond. It's always really fun. If you want to make a friend, you might make more than one. Squish! That's my name. Squish! Squish! Squish. going to be ready for our concert. Oh, no! What about our fans? We have fans? You will soon, once we put on our rocking stage show. Yeah! Ah! yeah! yeah! Oh, I think I pulled a muscle. Technically, amoebas don't have muscles. Dad, we, we talked about this. You can't play in my band. You're too, you know, eh? Old rock and roll is timeless, son. <laughs> You know, I used to be in this far-out band back in the day. We were plasmodium. We played this one song that was so amazing, it actually made bacteria grow. Wow! He's exaggerating, by the way. Actually, scientific fact. Studies have shown that amplified music can actually make some bacteria multiply faster. <laughs> It's possible that your dad's song made bacteria create more copies of themselves. This would increase the overall crowd size. Exactly! Instant fans! Of course, we still had to promote our gigs with awesome posters. Don't worry, Dad. We'll get the word out on social media using the computers at school. <laughs> posters. <laughs> That's so old-fashioned. What a pretty poster! <gasps> Iron Plankton with Shirley the Micro Shrimp? You coming to my band show Friday night or what? This Friday night? When we're putting on our concert? Yeah, I wanted your gig, but I applied too late. So now I'm doing my own show in the schoolyard. Oh, I can't wait to see your band, Shirley. Your posters are so pretty. No, you have to play our show. And nobody cares about some posters. Hmm. And our posters are ready to print. Fantastic idea to put up those posters, Squish. Thanks so much for helping, Mr. Squish's dad. Squish thinks we need to be so much cooler than... Iron Plankton! Okay, now can we go back to practice, please? Dad, not you, Dad. Band members only. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so our equipment could use a little bit of an upgrade. <laughs> this is the textbook definition of not cool. I have the textbook right here if you want to check. Oh, you want cool? <laughs> I found my old amps and stuff in the attic. I said an upgrade, not an old grade. <laughs> <laughs> this classic equipment does produce an unexpected sound quality. What you think? Well, uh, hey, it's... Uh... Rank up the light show! <laughs> Dad, I think it's gonna take more than some pretty lights in your special song to outdo Shirley. Come on, Squish! Let's jam! Yes!
and rules. Oh, they've got more posters, a bigger stage, and a better fan. Is that my band? Wow, that's a... <laughs> a betrayal. You're having practice without me? And with my dad instead? Yes! <laughs> You're trying to replace me! No, uh, of course not, son. Uh, we were, uh, just working on some stuff. It's no big deal. Yes, it is! Enough is enough! Can't you see? My dad's not just in the band, he's taking it over! What? No, I... He used to have his own band. Squish, it, it's not... And now not... he thinks he can have our band! Ah! <laughs> Peggy, please! Sorry, I was just in the groove. I had no idea you'd be so upset. I was just trying to help, but if it's really bothering you, maybe it's best if I don't play. Yeah, okay, Bye bye Good luck, kids! No! Hmm. Rock on! <laughs> no. No, no, no. We're on in 20 minutes. You guys ready to put on the best show ever? <sighs> huh? Squish, you never told us your dad played that slime stock. That was real? Slime Stock? The legendary festival of music, art, and love? Wow! With one of the biggest crowds ever seen in Small Pond, mm. unlike us. After I said all those things. Of course! <laughs> Rock on, kids! Woo! Ow! Oh, I think I pulled a muscle. Hear that? At least one person likes us. Exactly! <laughs> and we're gonna put on the best show ever. Cause it's not the size of the audience, it's how much they love <laughs> our music. You guys are ready to groove? <laughs> yes! We'll be better than all your... Don't say it, Peg. Just play. <laughs> My name is Squish. I'm an amoeba dude. A tiny little <laughs> cell with a giant attitude. This is Peggy.
things I said to you before? Ah, forget them. Thanks, Dad, for everything. Especially all your songs that made our bacteria crowd grow. All my songs? Only one of them did that. The rest of these kids came to see you and your awesome band. Really? Just rock on, son. Rock on. Squish, I'm an amoeba dude. A tiny little cell with a giant attitude. This is Pod Break It Down. We are microscopic cells in a microscopic town. I'm Peggy. I'm Peggy Paramecium. Yes! Yes! We're happy and we're slimy. And, and sometimes we're just a mess. This is Small Pond. It's always really fun. If you want to make a friend, you might make more than one. Squish! That's my name. Squish! Squish! Squish. Squish. We're waiting for us, Pod. <laughs> hmm. Uh, Pod? Sorry, Squish. I'm waiting, but not for you. This is where I get the bus to my new school. What? It seems my test scores are so high, I've been transferred to the school for gifted microbes. Hi, <gasps> hi. I'm so happy for you, I think. No, I am. It's just, oh, we're gonna miss you so much. <laughs> Can we still hang out after school? Afraid not. All students live on campus, but don't worry. I'm already working on a plan that'll allow us to be together. Yay! Smart school <laughs> bus now arriving. Door only opens if student solves mm. impossible puzzle maze. Access allowed, smart student. So easy. <laughs> so sad! We'll probably never ever hear from Pod again, ever! <laughs> hey guys! Pod? Yay! I knew we'd hear from him! Check out my new school! There's this giant amoeba sphinx guarding the entrance! Oh, she's so cute! What'd she do? She asks you questions that you need to answer to enter. If you get them wrong, she eats you and spits you out. <laughs> What breaks when you say its name? Silence! And don't worry, I've designed an intelligence-expanding helmet so you can get past the Sphinx and join me in here. Please! I'm sending instructions to the 3D printer in the lab now. Thanks, bud! Bye-bye! Ah, a fellow scholar. Excuse me, but I'm new here. Can you please ha- What? Someone has a question he cannot answer by himself? Wow! You're all Panabacillus Vortex! Or pennies, for short. Scientific fact. Panabacillus Vortex is a type of bacteria best known for its socially complex colony. This seemingly intelligent behavior has led some to call pennies the smartest bacteria on Earth. Yes, we already know! Oh, it's just... This is the first time a non pennibacillus Vortex has ever been granted entry to our gifted school! He made it in, but will he survive our rigorous academic schedule and cutting social derision? Derision! 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 It's Pod. He says he's updated the file for the helmet that will make us super smart so we can enter his school. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, helmet activated. Uh, oh, busted. Now how do I get into Pod's smarty head school? Statistically speaking, there's a 72% probability of admission if you simply adopt the appearance of a Panabacillus Vortex. Whoa, Peggy, you sound smart. I know. <laughs> oh. Statistical probability revised downward from 72% to 53. I'll take those odds if we get to hang out with Pod and, and his, his amazing, amazing new, new school. school. Forgetting something? No, I don't think so. Environmental impact! <laughs> 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 Welcome.
Welcome to the Super Smart School. Sorry you didn't solve the unsolvable hyper puzzle lock on the bus. It seemed kind of easy. Yeah, if you have a smarty head helmet, all I have is this. And it's not gonna help us get past that Sphinx amoeba in her riddles. Gotta concentrate on this one. Right, Peggy? And... Ah, Peg? What is... Blue. You knew the answer before I could even ask the question. You are truly exceptional. Yeah. With her. Cease your forward movement, child. Each student must answer his own question to gain entry. What falls but never breaks? Um, uh, uh, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Behold your penny brother! Welcome, Welcome Bell Genius! <laughs> Hello, my brothers and sisters! Wait, he has not answered the question of entrance. Oh, come on! You should know that Appendibusil's Vortex has never failed the entrance exam. Yes, all of us know the answer to what falls and never breaks. Night! night. Oh, of course, night falls, but day breaks. <laughs> uh, that, that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> so easy. Yes, they're here. <laughs> and it looks like my helmet works. But what is that? <laughs> I'm so glad you two are here. Maybe this so-called gifted school won't be so horrible now. What are you complaining about, Pod? This place rocks. <laughs> and everyone is so friendly. Yeah, but only if you're a penny. Inform us, please. In which penny colony did you previously reside? Must one answer such trivial questions when one could be solving the origins of the universe? Oh! Mm -hmm. You're so right! Show us your wisdom! Imagine the universe one second after the Big Bang. All around us, a vast soup of neutrons, protons, and hey, wontons. you want to join us, Pod? I thought you'd be excited to be here. I was. But the students are mean, the building's oppressive, and they hate you if you're not a penny. Oh, come on, that's not true. What are you doing back there? Clever <laughs> pennies never waste time with brainless amoeba. What? The menu of life on waste and time are but concepts that must not conjoin. Time is eternal. Waste impermanent. Ooh. Might you oh, be the nice. most clever Ooh. penny to ever enter our school? Never. Thank you, Pod. Okay, maybe they are a little jerky. And this place does kind of stink. I wish we could just return to our old school, but smart students are not allowed to leave. So, we just prove we're not smart. What? But I've been a genius my whole life. That would be impossible for me. <laughs> Don't worry. Just follow my stupid lead. Another perfect algorithm. What are you doing? That's too smart. Try something like this. <laughs> Genius! What? Our brilliant new student figured out that the original equation on the board was part of the chemical composition of the sun! I did? Unacceptable! Hmm. Why would you draw a big round stain? It has absolutely nothing to do with anything! No! It's not a stain, it's the sun! Just like his answer! <laughs> Underachieving <laughs> and cheating? I'll have to tell the Sphinx about this! Another perfect algorithm. <laughs> okay, Peggy, time to dumb it down. I'm shutting off your smarty head helmet. Huh? What? It's not even turned on? What's that? Did you say my smarty head isn't turned on? Yeah. Oh. Do you realize you said and did all that really smart stuff all by yourself without, without the, the helmet? helmet? What's a helmet? Ooh, there's something on my head. Oh, did I just pull out my own brain? It's so cute. She tricked us. I did? But Pod's the one who made the plans that we printed in his science lab. He's so smart. She's no genius. She's a fool. 
real and a fake. Hey, no one insults my friends like that. Stings! 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 Oh, you have a brain head, too. <laughs> They're all <laughs> cheaters. Stings! 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 Call us what you want, but Pod is no fool. He's the best and brightest kid in Small Pond. He's only really been stupid once. The day he thought he could find a better school here with you pathetic panties. Yeah, I'm a fool. He's a fool. We're all fools. Let's not get carried away here. If being smart means being like a panty, then we're happy to be the biggest fools ever. Oh. Yeah. Sing, 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 sing. Smart school bus now arriving. Door only open. Right on time. Take us home to our school for fools. Access denied. <laughs> you could have traveled inside, you know. Yes, but it's way more fun out here with you guys. I thought that gifted school would make me feel smarter. But the smartest thing I ever did was choose friends like you two. And thanks for making me clever, Pod. I felt like I was riding a rainbow and eating it at the same time! Sheer Peg, anything for you. <laughs> 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 cell with a giant attitude. This is Pod Break It Down. We are microscopic cells in a microscopic town. I'm Peggy. I'm Peggy Paramecium. Yes. Yes. We're happy and we're slimy. And, and sometimes we're just a mess. mess. This is Small Pond. It's always really fun. If you want to make a friend, you might make more than one. Squish. That's my name. Squish. 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 Totally lame. Oh, you gotta try out Peggy. Cheerleading? Me? Hmm. Maybe you're right. Go, go, go! To trials! No, no, no! You can't be a cheerleader. What? What? Hello? You only have two arms. How are you supposed to do any of our best routines? But that's not fair! Well, Helen is a hydrozoa. And scientific fact, hydrozoa are tiny creatures that are related to jellyfish. They can have up to 50 tentacles or limbs. Don't worry, Peg. If you don't have enough arms, Pod can fix that. I can. <laughs> now, Peggy, be careful with these uh, extra arms. I've had some trouble with them in the past. Go, 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 Pod! I see one arm! I see two arms! I see lots and lots of arms! Yay! Remember, you control the arms with your thoughts. Peggy, you need to focus. Back to the tryouts! To the team! Whoa! <laughs> I think I'm 
in the wrong audition. Okay, we're not gonna let some snobby-nosed Hydrozoa tell the cheeriest kid in Small Pond that she can't cheer! He means you. Yay! I am cheery! But those other cheerleaders have so many arms. So? You don't need all those arms. You have something much more important. You have what's in here. Cytoplasm. No, she has heart. You're right. I do have heart. And that's what makes me the best cheerleader ever. Yay! <laughs> I also have energy. Yes. Enthusiasm. And I have my best friends to help me form my own cheerleading team. Uh, wh what was that? We're the small pond germs, and our players are contagious. Yay! <laughs> now you try. Who's the worst? Uh, we are. That's the spirit. Now follow me. Yay! Go! Let's go! Woo! <laughs> Way. Come on, Helen, we can cheer side by side. Yeah! Mm. Yeah, we're the Peg Leaders. We named ourselves after the cheeriest kid in school. <laughs> <laughs> Mercy me. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? We could have two cheerleading teams. Hmm, can't we? Not in this school! Exactly! Why couldn't we cheer all together? We were here first! Two hmm. cheerleading teams are better than one! <laughs> Only one squad at a time! Oh! Huh? We'll have a contest later today to choose who represents our school! Today? But we just formed our team! Well then, you better practice like we've been doing every single day for the past two years! Girls? Go, go Small, small pond. pond! Go, 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 go Small, small pond. pond! A contest! Let's practice so we can win, win, win! Come on! I can't hear ya! Who's best of the worst? We are!
Sorry, that's the job talking. Next! Statistical probability of us beating Helen's team? Zero. What? Who cares? We may not have their fancy moves, but we are great at what we do, right? You mean being lame? That's right! When we fail, we fail big time! Who is best of the worst? We are! <laughs> Our claim to fame? We are lame! Ah! Okay, okay, okay! Let me hear you cheer! Uh, excuse me, but have you started your routine yet? Oh no! The best is yet to come! What? 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 Linwood, he just loves his eating! His cheer and belly can't be beaten! <laughs> Dry Dry has so many gifts, but we all love his cheer and for being tardy, Aww. and another one for frowning. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I can't be late again. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No running, and no more excuses. 20 detentions for you. Oh, come on, Principal Planaria. How many rules do you have? Not enough. Without rules, this school would fall into complete chaos. Now you know the consequences of rule breaking. Detention again? At least I know everyone here. Yo, Bri Bri, my bacterial brother! Oh, oh. Jerry the germ, how's it spreading? <laughs> You parasites are out of sight! No yelling in detention! Squish, after analyzing your many school-related disciplinary infractions, I've determined that our primary objective is to resolve your recurring tardiness. <laughs> cool, except I have no idea what you just said. Pod made a boom boom board to get you to school on time! Yay! And I added the rainbow magnets. Ooh, 
Ooh, nice touch, Peg. And if this keeps me from being late or breaking any more rules, then I say, let's go! <laughs> Kept you safe. Ah! <laughs> I broke the principle. Wow, Squish, spectacular ride. I've already uploaded some action shots to my page on Germbuck. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, Ooh and that one too. And ah, I broke the principle. There's part one, and there's part two. Oh, don't worry, Squish. He'll be fine. He's a planaria. Scientific fact. Planaria can grow new body parts when they lose them. Don't try this at home. In fact, if a planaria is split in half, it will grow two completely new versions of itself. No way! Two principal planarias? Ah! No shouting, student! You just got yourself another detention! <laughs> principal planaria, students need to express themselves. No, they don't! It's against the rules! That's not the principal plan area I know. Students learn best when they're free to teach themselves. Pod, is principal plan area arguing with principal plan area? Mm -hmm. Yes. Regenerating plan area are not always exact copies of each other. They can be very different. Oh, this principal job is just so stressful. I know. Take some time off. Relax. I watch the school. Hmm. I could use a vacation. Thank you, Principal Planaria. No problem, Principal Planaria. Am I in trouble? Of course you are. Oh. But causing trouble is how you really learn. So from now on, I want you students to break some rules. Lots of rules. For real? Like, okay, there's a rule about being quiet in the halls. Break it, it'll help you learn. I feel smarter already! Good for you! That's called teaching yourself! We're all gonna break some rules and learn how to teach ourselves! Go! Right, right! High five! Carry on, student! Principal Planaria's suggestion, and I'm teaching myself all about gravity! What? No, 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 you'll hurt yourself! Let me help you down! <laughs> me! <laughs> teaching yourself ah! is fun! I'm getting carried away! <gasps> hey! Uh -huh. no. No, no, no. Peggy! Peggy! Where are you? Uh, Pegarina! Pega lega lega leggy! Peggy! <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, how's it going, my protozoan? <laughs> you know, for a moment, I kinda liked having no rules. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun teaching ourselves everything. But all I've really taught myself is how painful and dangerous school is. I totally agree. This has got to stop. Let's find Peggy and fix our principal before anything really bad happens. You mean like that? <laughs> You're yummy and sweet. Really? You think I'm sweet? <laughs> Your stomach is giving me such a nice warm hug. What? Hey, stop eating my friend! Student, these two are teaching themselves some very valuable lessons about digestion. But he just swallowed one of my best friends ever. There must be a rule against that. Nope. Are you eating me? <laughs> just need to borrow your fist for a second here, Bri-Bri. 
Nice. Thanks, but I'm not done yet. There may be no rules at this school, but there's still one big important rule in here. Never fly without a rainbow? No one messes with my friends! Are you saying your body ingested some kind of personal legislation? No, I am pointing to my heart. Scientific fact. As amoebas, we technically don't have hearts. Our bodies Focus, are... Focus, Pod! We need to take this planaria down before his no rules teaching destroys us all! Good idea. Let's get back the original principal planaria. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> He'll just send us all to detention again. I have a much better idea. We break the principal again! If we can just split this planaria in two, maybe the new one will be better than the one we have now. Woo! Right on, Squish! I'll be your wrecking ball! Boom, boom, boys! <laughs> Whoa! That looks very educational! Go, student, go! Interrupting my bath? There needs to be a new rule about that! Yee-haw! Em, cowboy! Any other ideas for breaking the principle you already broke? Yes. But I'm gonna need some heavy-duty gear. The kind that can tear a planaria right in half. Well, there's some really dangerous equipment in the science lab. But there are rules about... Rules? Show me these rules so we can get rid of them and really start learning! Exactly what I was thinking! <laughs> Whoa! What a fantastic collection of smashing, chopping, and mutilating contraptions! Oh, the perfect place to break yourself. I mean, teach yourself. Why don't you get a closer look, Principal Planaria? A lot closer. 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 You know, that's a great idea, but this is about your learning experience, student, not mine. What? I'll get out of your way so you can really teach yourselves. Ooh, is that a bathtub? I'd love a nice warm bath. What? No! Uh, we need you here by all the cutting and slicing stuff! Ah, so warm and refreshing. Makes my skin tingle a, a, a lot. And in a very strange way. That's because it's not a hot tub. It's not? It's a heated tank of Fenbendazole, a powerful deworming agent. Oh, a deworming agent? But I'm a planaria, a, a flat worm! Ah! Hey, am I melting? Stop this! There must be a rule against melting the principal, even if there are no rules. Ah! Where's my other half? I need to find Principal Planaria. No! Uh, he, uh, just slipped out. Oh, be careful, Principal Planaria. That's Principal Planaria. Uh, I mean, that's deworming juice. What? Out here? That's against the rules. When will you students ever learn? Follow the rules! Rules? They're back? For real? Oh, it's good to have you back, Principal Planaria. Are you students actually hugging me? Do you know what that'll get you? A big hug back, right? Oh, detention again! Don't worry, Squish. The whole school got detention with you. Like one big happy family. Right, Bri Bri? Bri Bri, my bacterial bug! Ah, detention again. Squish, I'm an amoeba dude. A tiny little cell with a giant attitude. This is Pod, break it down. We are microscopic cells in a microscopic town. I'm Peggy. I'm Peggy Paramecium. Yes! Yes! We're happy, happy and, and we're slimy. And, and sometimes we're just a mess. This is Small Pond. It's always really fun. If you want to make a friend, you might make more than one. Squish! That's my name. Squish! Squish! Squish. Squish. my name. Yo, Pod, my man, my amoeba! What's poking your plasma, my protozoan pal? You up to play in some kick the spore? I'd love to, Squish, but I need to save us all from catastrophe. Again. Remember at school? Hmm. Hey, look out! Disaster ahead! Huh? Whoa! 
doom is imminent. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. There's no disaster here. Those weren't real disasters, Squish. It was just you tripping over a collection of dihydrogen monoxide, a.k.a. a water puddle. Uh. And why is there always a water puddle in my water? This is all part of an exciting research process that will one day save your life. Mm. Can't you stop saving me and just play with me instead? I really want to, Squish. I just don't have time today. Sorry! Oh. Squish, I'll play with you. Really, Peggy? Sure. I love the game of Dress the Score. We can pretend she's a little baby. <laughs> oh, who's wearing the prettiest little hair clip ever? Little baby Spore. Hmm? So cute. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Peggy, hi. Uh, my game's oh. not about dressing the spore. It's about kicking it. <gasps> my baby can fly. <laughs> oh, that looks like Vinny from my pond studies class. Really? Because he looks just like the Vinny in my pond studies class. Hey, buddy, can you kick that back? Woo! <laughs> 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 nice! <laughs> spore on! See you soon, buddy! <laughs> totally, buddy! Yay! Baby Spore loves you, too! Oh! Whoa! What? Where'd you get the crane? Uh, can I try it? Sorry, Squish. It's for my project. Oh, I see. Yeah. Still too busy to hang out with your friends. Come on, Squish! I'm doing my science. Don't make me feel bad about it. I'll be done soon. Yay! Oh, really? Well, maybe I found someone else to play with. Oh. That virus I saw leaving the park? His name is Vinny. And we can all be friends! Careful with that guy, Squish. More mortal enemies! What? Are you jealous? I'm not jealous. Viruses can get a little out of control sometimes. I'm just trying to warn you. Because that's what good friends do! Yay! Glad we worked this all out. But we didn't work anything out. Pod says he's busy, and now he's bad-mouthing my new friend. Hmm. I don't have time for this. And watch your step. Remember at school? No fair. Pod's always so busy, busy, busy. I need someone who's got time for me now. <laughs> someone like Vinny? Hey, buddy. Aren't you squished from my pond studies class? Uh, I thought you went home. I was just looking for someone <gasps> to kick the spore with. Uh, didn't we just do that? No, I, I don't think so. Let's go! Hey! Ah! Hey! Hey! That was fun. See you soon, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, see you soon, buddy. <laughs> mm. Hey, you must yeah. be Squish. Mm. Nice to meet you. Wanna kick this four? Yeah. Open the door, please. Here so fast, and no, I will not kick the spore with you again. Huh? What are you talking about? We already did that. I just wanted to find out about that project in our pond studies class. Oh, well, okay. Come on in. Thanks for helping, buddy. Sure. <sighs> hey, Squish, can you help me with my pond studies project? Squish, are you there? Squish! My Pond Studies project! No! No, no, no! <gasps> what a 
cutie patootie little baby. Ah, you look just like your mama Peggy. Except without the eyes, mouth, or face. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Hi, Vinny. Hi, Vinny. Hi, Vinny. Hi, Vinny. Hey, didn't I just see you at the other end of the block? Twice? No, that wasn't me. That was Vinny. <laughs> Vinny's totally telling the truth. Oh, okay. Well, as long as you vouch for him, what's your name? Vinny. What a coincidence. Thanks, Vinny. <laughs> oh, hey, Squish! <laughs> hey! Oh, I just saw your new best friend, Vinny. He was with Vinny. And Vinny and Vinny. What are you even talking about? And Vinny is not my best friend. I would rather hang out with Pod, but he's always busy. Vinny's not busy. Neither is Vinny. Or Vinny or Vinny. Or Vinny or Vinny. Or yeah, Vinny. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Peggy. But you're right. Vinny is never busy. Ever. All he wants to do is hang out. <laughs> but it's too much. I, I need some space. Hey, Squish, I tried to warn you about this. You don't see Vinny too much. You see too many Vinnies. Scientific fact. A virus is a dangerous microorganism that attaches itself to a cell and makes endless copies of itself until it destroys its host. Oh, come on. That can't be true. You're just jealous of Vinny. You mean Vinny's. Vinny, is this the kid you told us about? Vinny said he was a great host. By the way, I'm Vinny. I, I don't think, think we've met. met. What? But we, we, we did. Or did we? Nice, nice to meet you. Careful, Squish. Viruses spread quite rapidly in the time it takes you to blink. Uh... Oh, more Vinny's. Welcome, buddies. Let's hang out or do some homework. Or kick the spore! Or hijack your cell so we can replicate until you explode! What? Too honest? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Too many Vinnies! Let's play, play with us! It'll be fun! 16, 17, 19, 22, 25, 25, 25, 25, 50, 60, Uh, look, buddy! Uh, friends sometimes need a little time for themselves. You Vinnies understand. <laughs> Don't you? Come on, Squish, play with us! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello? Squish, it's Pod. Just listen, some viruses are very aggressive, but I've been planning for this. You have? <laughs> yes, what do you think I've been doing all week? Uh, ignoring me? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saving you. Huh? How are you supposed to do that? <laughs> Watch your step. Remember at school? Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Those Vinnies fly even better than my baby! Will they be okay? They'll be great. I put them in a giant Petri dish. The Vinnies will continue to grow and thrive, but in a place where they can't hurt us. Hey, buddy. Name's Vinny. Want to get infected? Uh, Want to kick the spore? I've been planning this. What? But how and, and when? Ever since the first Finny arrived, using data from your previous encounters with my water puddles, I positioned this one in the exact spot to make you tumble out of harm's way. Yeah, all this time, you weren't just tripping me for the heck of it or blowing me off for your work? Of course not. It was all part of my plan to save us all. That's just what good friends do. I'm... oh... I'm sorry, Pod. I didn't mean to be such a jerk about you not hanging out with us. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you about my plan. Because that's what good friends do! Yay! Look, the important thing is that it all worked out. Now, what do you say about this, Pod? Spore My name 
is squish. I'm an amoeba dude. A tiny little cell with a giant attitude. This is Pod Break It Down. We are microscopic cells in a microscopic town. I'm Peggy. I'm Peggy Paramecium. Yes. Yes. We're happy and we're slimy. And sometimes we're just a mess. This is Small Pond. It's always really fun. If you want to make a friend, you might make more than one. It's just a movie. It's just a movie. Ah! Look out! Giant worm! Ah! It's just a movie. It's just a movie. It's just a terrifying triple header. Why do you watch these side terrified channel scarathons anyway? It relaxes me. Ah! It's just me, Squish. Those movies are scientifically inaccurate anyway. They could never happen in real life. Giant worm! What? Okay, one thing is starting to scare me, Squish. You! I think he's cute when he goes... <laughs> Nice hustle! <laughs> nice abstraction! <laughs> I don't care if you guys don't believe me. I'm taking matters into my own hand. And by me, I mean you. I need this steel reinforced, triple fortified, fully furnished worm resistant super bunker stacked. I'm safe and I'm never leaving. Pod, where's the bathroom? Time to leave! Uh, but what about the giant worm? We'll protect you with hugs! Okay, but we have to be... Who's the Frady Blob hiding from now? <laughs> <laughs> what are you afraid of, Frady Blob? <laughs> Giant worm, run for your life! <laughs> Peggy, Jack, Pod, Jack, Squish. Has anybody seen Squish? Here! Shall you in the trash can please return to your desk? But I am at my desk! <laughs> Squish obviously needs assistance. Will you two take him to see our school's guidance counselor? Thanks for helping, guys. And that guidance counselor was great. How to handle your fears. Why the movies aren't real. <laughs> Duh. Always appreciating your friends. And I've learned that I'm too old for imaginary friends. Bye, Sven. Bye, Sven. You too, Sven. See you, Sven. 
<laughs> oh, that's obviously not a real giant worm. So, let's practice our no fear strategies. One, let's identify our feelings. <laughs> Two, let's take deep breaths. <laughs> now I'm imagining the worm has stinky death breath. <laughs> you were right, Squish. The worm monster is real, and now he's using his tail to hug us. Oh, man. I knew I should have done step three of the pamphlet first. What's that? Trust your away in fear, I actually recognize what this guy is. A nematode! Mm -hmm. Scientific fact! A nematode is one of the most common creatures on the planet. Also known as a round worm, nematodes range from microscopic size, like us, to several meters long, like him. But they typically don't come to this part of the pond. The good news is, he's not a threat to amoeba or paramecium. In fact, the thing they eat most is algae. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing? Taking the sewer hole for a walk? <laughs> no, actually, I'm walking Sven, the nematode. Did you say... Nematode? Our granddaddy told us stories about horrible nematodes who eat algae, like us! A nematode! <laughs> you know, I could offer you my personal bunker. Nematode resistant. Guaranteed. We'll do anything. How about uh, not making fun of anybody for three whole months? Just get us out you away from that thing. Please. <laughs> you are such a cutie, Sven. <laughs> Dangerous. Yeah, as much as I like having the big guy around, we need to get him to go home before he destroys anything else. And how do we do that? We don't even know why he came here in the first place. <laughs> Bleach, put all your germs away. Oh, Sven likes scary things on TV. Ah. Sven, were you watching those scary movies with me through my window the other night? <laughs> Tell me, Squish. While watching those scary movies, did you make an unexpectedly loud shriek? Hmm. Ah! Uh, maybe? That explains it. Sven was passing by when he heard your high-pitched voice shriek. I wouldn't call it high-pitched. He came out to investigate and then discovered the inexplicable joys of scary movies. He's been following you ever since, hoping to see more. Really? That's all he wants? So if we, say, got you really frightening films, would you be willing to go home, Sven? <laughs> All right! Oh, there's just one problem. How do you scare a giant algae-eating worm? With a scientific fact. There are several different types of fungus that can actually trap and eat nematodes. So... <laughs> Beware the fungus of fear! And the return! And the revenge of the return! <laughs> okay, Sven. Uh, now, wouldn't it be great to watch these new classics at your home? Oh, 
So long, Sven. I'll see you every day in my imagination. Hey, you guys, you can come out now. The big bad worm is gone. No way! You said three months! It's just what we need to come up with even better names for everyone! You, uh, Blubby, Blubby! <laughs> scary stuff, right, Squish? <laughs> These movies are always better with friends. So, uh, which one of you played the fungus? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, who put on the costume? Um, neither of us? Neither of you played the fungus? So that means it's... <gasps> it's just a movie. 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 in a microscopic town. I'm Peggy! I'm Peggy Paramecium! Yes! Yes! We're happy and we're slimy. And, and sometimes we're just a mess! This is Small Pond. It's always really fun. If you want to make a friend, you might make more than one. Squish! That's my name! Squish! Squish! Squish. my name! Squish! No! No, no, no! Oh, not gonna be late. Not gonna be late. <laughs> Pod, you're almost late, and you're never late. What's going on? I got carried away finishing my project for art class. Rika. Ah, is uh, is that supposed to be you? Yes, of course it's me. So, is it amazing or merely astounding? Uh, amazing, yeah. <laughs> Great job, Pod. <laughs> Thanks, Squish. I knew you'd like it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, here's the Meba. I thought you said my art was amazing. Pod. Pod. I'm so sorry. You lied to me, Squish. <gasps> What'd you do, Squish? Nothing other than say Pod's painting was amazing. Oh, what a nice thing to say. You're a good friend. But it's not true. He lied to me. You're a bad friend, Squish. Why'd you tell him that? I, you know, I just didn't want to hurt his feelings. Ah, that's sweet. <laughs> good friend. You should have told me the truth. Bad friend, tell the truth. Oh, he will. From now on, I'll see that he never deceives me again. Yay! Glad I helped you two work this all out. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Hmm. Ooh, yummy cupcake. Yeah, not sure how it got in my lunch bag. Mmm, but it is delicious. Can I have some? Oh. Whoops, slipped right out of my hand and into my mouth. Sorry, Peg. <gasps> Whoa, are you glowing? No. Yeah, I mean, maybe? <laughs> hmm? Hmm. That cupcake didn't really slip out of your hand, did it? <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> Honestly? No, not really. Whoa, I was glowing. And then I stopped. What is happening to me? Scientific fact. Some single-celled organisms will make a bioluminescent glow after eating certain foods. So I adjusted the composition of that food so that anyone eating it will only glow when they lie. Hmm. I made a cupcake out of that glow food and snuck it in your lunch. What? You fed me some kind of a... of a fib glow cake? 
I believe you now glow anytime you tell the slightest lie. That's ridiculous. I never lie. <sighs> Looking good. Honestly, I did my homework. <laughs> I would never draw a picture of you like that, Principal Planaria. Pod, you've got to help me. I glow almost every time I open my mouth. Yes, this is what happens when you are what we scientists call a big fat liar. Oh, come on. It's not like I'm telling bad lies. Well, most of them aren't bad. I just want to be helpful and nice and, uh, you know, not get into trouble. You weren't very nice when you lied to me about my art. You're still mad about that? I said I'm sorry. I think you're a genius, Pod. Maybe not the best artist, but you're my best friend ever. I would do anything for you. Hmm, you didn't glow in any way when you said that. that. Must be the truth. It is! I totally meant it! Honest! Still no glow. Now that we're good, you can get rid of this, right? Well, I have a slight confession to make. It's about your glow. I can't do anything. What? <laughs> Don't worry. The effect will wear off in about a week. Uh, I can't keep my mouth shut all that time. Well, if you don't want to glow, just tell the truth all the time. Hmm. <laughs> Easy. Oh, by the way, your painting is really hideous. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Okay, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Just gotta tell the truth. Oh, hey, watch it. Don't you see me standing here? Actually, no. I didn't see you, Shirley, because you're so tiny. Okay, tell the truth. Eh? Tell the truth. Sorry about my spores. I can't help it. I know, Gus Fun Fungus. But, to be totally honest, your spores are disgusting. Yeah! Digesting today. Hello, insecure bullies. Yo, Bri Bri, my bacterial brother. Well, you're not really my brother. To be honest, you're a bit of a jerk. But it's the truth! Uh... Look, there's the kid who insulted us. Uh... Whoa. Whoa, huh? Hold on. Uh, I didn't mean to be mean, just honest. Let's get him! Pod! <laughs> you gotta help me! Everyone hates me for being honest! And it's all your fault! What? Am I glowing when I say that? No! That's the truth! So help! Hi guys! Where are you running? Have you noticed the angry crowd behind you? Idea how to escape? Sure, follow me. In here, quick! Ah! I think you went this ah! way. You should be safe here. Well done, Peg. Oh, you mean it? Obviously not. That's it. We can use your glow to get us out of here, Squish. Really? Okay, but uh, oh, what should I even lie about? Just say the most ridiculous, untrue things you can think of. Like, um, uh, Unizoan ate my homework. Oh, is that true? Obviously. It's working. Now we've got the fib light. To go straight to the exit. There. Oh. We've been spotted! I love to floss! I have read all the terms and conditions on this website. Of course I remembered your birthday. I don't believe in global warming. Uh... 
Uh, I never clicked on enlarge your uh, <laughs> Too heavy. Can't hold on. Light me up, Squish. I need to find a grip. I, I can't. You just have to keep on lying, Squish. But it's impossible. You're in danger. <laughs> Talk about my art. It's awful. What about Unizoans? I don't believe in them. It's not the time to be honest. <laughs> okay. I hate you guys. You stink. And I never want to see you again. Woohoo! <laughs> Great job, Squish. Look! The exit! Yay! We can go back to school now. But what about the big angry crowd we left there? Mm. Oh, I know what to do. Okay, everyone. I might have been a complete jerk lately, but to make up for it, I offer you these free cupcakes. And trust me, they are truly delicious. No yummy cupcakes! Unless you offer one to your hungry principal. Take as many as you like, Principal Planaria. <laughs> Don't try to bribe us, Squish. We're still mad at you. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> mad at me? Really? I can see you're lying. So maybe we could call it a day. No glowing, everyone. I hate glowing kids. <laughs> it's not what you think. No kidding. I swear, for real. My name is Squish. I'm an amoeba dude. A tiny little cell with a giant attitude. This is Pod Break It Down. We are microscopic cells in a microscopic town. And Peggy. I'm Peggy Paramecium. We're happy, happy and, and we're slimy. slimy. And, and sometimes, sometimes we're, we're just a mess. This is Small Pond. It's always really fun. If you want to make a friend, you might make more than one. Squish! That's my name. Squish! Squish! Squish. Still my name. Squish! No. No, no, no. Pod Podcast, take one. Uh, greetings. Science lovers, today I will demonstrate my new hyper magnet. Oh, I'll fix that. Peggy, stay away from there. Remember what happened the last few times you touched my stuff? No, what happened? Don't touch anything! Oh, I won't. Phew! Uh, uh, Peggy! Are you okay? Yeah! <laughs> that tickled! <laughs> See, Pod? I don't always break things. <laughs> no! I've been working on that hyper magnet for months! Hi! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pod, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make you go all... <laughs> Not helping, Peggy. Just promise him you'll never touch his stuff again. Oh, that's a great idea. In fact, I'll make a... Howie Wowie Paramecium Pinky Promise! I will never touch your stuff or anything that doesn't belong to me ever again. Thank you, Promise. Promise sealed. Oh. And now it can never be broken. Yay! Now watch as I leave without touching anything. Hey, where'd my cat? 
camera go? Hmm. May I please have my video camera back? What camera? The one on your back that's still live streaming to Pod's monitor. Oh, you guys look strange. Wait, but who's using your camera? It can't be me. I said I wouldn't touch anything, and I made a howie wowie paramecium pinky promise. But the camera is on your back, along with all that other stuff. There's stuff on my back? Where? 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 Interesting. All those objects stuck to her back have some metal in them. I suspect she was accidentally magnetized by my hypermagnet. What? Is that even possible? Scientific fact. Some microbes have magnetic qualities that help them with navigation. My hypermagnet must have supercharged Peggy's natural magnetic abilities. It's strange, though. These magnetic abilities are typically found in certain kinds of bacteria, not paramecium. Oh, I bought my rainbow stickers from a bacteria. That explains it. Bacteria DNA from the stickers must have gotten mutated by my hypermagnet, turning Peggy into... A paramecium supermagnet. Give me back my cash register. Oh, I'd like to, but even though it's touching me, I can't touch it. You see, I promise to never, ever touch anything that doesn't belong to me. So if I grab your thing, I'll break my howie wowie paramecium pinky promise. Really bad stuff will happen if I break that promise. Uh, actually, bad stuff happens when you make that promise, too. Okay, fine. I'll pull it all off. Tickly. Power's getting stronger. I need to rebuild and reverse my hypermagnet so I can demagnetize her. Great. Oh. Come on, Peggy, to the lab! Dope! I need to set up a super science safe house that is free of all magnetic materials. Oh! Super science safe house! Go for it, Pod. I'll keep Peggy safe. To all the metal of Small Pond, bring it on, yo! Is the super science safe house? Ooh, Pod's gotta be twisting my membrane. I twist nothing. I needed a non metallic, non magnetic facility. This plastic playhouse was the best I could do. <laughs> so pretty and pink. Can we play inside it for a little bit? No! Demagnetize her! Now! Please! Um, is there a storm coming? Or a train? Maybe? <laughs> Giant boulders! Yeah, they're coming from that old iron mine! Scientific fact. Iron can be highly attracted to magnetic objects. <laughs> Don't worry, I've also got a mini version of my demagnetizer. 
<laughs> Press the button, Peggy, now! But what about my pinky promise? Who cares? Activate the demagnetizer, please! <laughs> well, at least we're way out here in the beautiful countryside, away from any large metallic objects. Uh-oh. It's no use, Peggy. You must trigger the demagnetizer yourself. But I can't! I made a vow that I wouldn't touch anyone's stuff, especially Pod's magneto thingy that's now a demagneto thingy. What? A paramecium can never break a... Howie wowie paramecium pinky promise! Come on, Peg! What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> If you break your promise, you'll magically break every bone in your body! Paramecium don't actually have any bones. Like many single-celled creatures, paramecium have something called a cytoskeleton that gives their body its shape. But there are no bones in this cytoskeleton, only little threads of protein. <laughs> See, Peggy? You're just one boneless mush of protein! <laughs> mm. I mean, one boneless mush of sunshine and rainbows! <laughs> Oh, you're right! And you can't break a rainbow or sunshine! But I still promised Pod I wouldn't touch his stuff! Come on, Pod, your turn! D -d Tell Peggy it's okay for her to touch your stuff! But she always breaks things and... Seriously, Pod, forget your stuff! We are running out of time! Okay. Peggy, I really appreciate your promise, but right now I'd appreciate it more if you take it back so we don't all get crushed! I give you my love. Magic Amiibo Weave of Pseudopod Pledge <laughs> that I will make you touch my stuff! Uh, does that even exist? Uh, it does now. Oh, I love pledges, and I never heard you say one before, Pod. So I, Peggy Paramecium, take back my Powie Wowie oh. Paramecium Pinky Promise! You still gotta press the demagnetizer, Peggy! Oh. Right. <sighs> oh, Pod! Your machine didn't just save us! It saved our friendship, too! But that's not even the best part! Ah, uh, greetings, science lovers! <laughs> hmm. I now get to touch all your because you made a magic amoeba weeba pseudopod pledge! Oh. <laughs> ah, she's got you there, pod. Oh. oh, should I touch that thing with the really sharp point? Or, or that thing with the blinky lights and warning symbols on it? Or what about this cute little red button? No! Squish, I'm an amoeba dude. A tiny little cell with a giant attitude. This is Pod, break it down. We are microscopic cells in a microscopic town. And Peggy! I'm Peggy Paramecium! Yes! Yes! We're happy and, and we're slimy. slimy. And, and sometimes, sometimes we're just a mess. mess. This is Small Pond. It's always really fun. If you want to make a friend, you might make more than one. Squish! That's my name. Squish! Squish! Squish. my name. Squish! No! Everybody feeling fired up today? Squishers in the house! Yay! It's almost time to celebrate the first ever Three Best Friends Day! The what? It's a holiday I made up to celebrate us, the three best friends ever! Just about to do a test run! Woo! Whoa! Hey, this sounds fun! Selfie time! <laughs> Look out! Whoa! <laughs> nice one, Squish. What? Oh, did I just post that to my germ book page? Oh, no. I've got a ridiculous shape. No worries. That's perfectly natural. Scientific fact. 
Amoebas will change the shape of their bodies to move, eat, or even protect themselves. Oh, kids are posting comments. <laughs> I can't look. They're going to make so much fun of me. Actually, they seem to enjoy your unique physical expressiveness. <laughs> what? 15 likes and counting. Ha, and that's not all. Listen to the comments. Amazing. Awesome. Coolest kid in school. I can't believe it. I'm a social media sensation. Awesome. Oh, that was the best ever, Squish. When's the next one? Huh? Huh? Uh, cool. Oh, that was so awesome. <laughs> Coming right up. Don't forget about Three Best Friends Day today, Squish. <laughs> Squish, we still need to plan for Three Best Friends Day. Uh, hundreds of likes. Awesome. <sighs> Do you like my decorations for Three Best Friends Day? Ooh, they're perfect for my next selfie! Like, like, like. Yes! Oh, this amoeba's gone viral! I'm beginning to think Squish doesn't really care about Three Best Friends Day. Oh, he will. Once he sees the fun biscuits I made for us Three Best Friends. Won't these be great for our celebration later today? Only one left. <laughs> mm, delicious. Thanks, Peggy. Shot. Squish, we need to talk. Huh? Yeah, sure. What's up? We miss you, Squish. Really? Yes, you've been completely ignoring us. Oh, yeah, really sorry about that. Uh, hey, how can I make it up to you? Pay more attention to us, Squish, instead of posting all those funny pictures of yourself. You think they're funny? Well, yeah, but... Well, if you want funny, you should see what I'm planning next. No, Squish, that's not what we're saying. Text from Pod. <laughs> Squish, can we talk? Sure. Speak to me, brother. <gasps> Yay! He's talking to us. <sighs> or at least texting. What? I'm not ignoring you guys. Love to hang out. Where you at? Look at all those messages! Sorry, Pod. Gotta answer my fan mail, period. Great chatting with ya! Ha! Squish! Wait! I mean, W A I T! Oh, now what do we do? We've lost our best friend! <laughs> On three best friends day! <laughs> What if I can find a third best friend just like Squish? <laughs> Say hello to our third best friend, Dummy Squish. Well, I uh, suppose that could work, but we'll have to change the name of our holiday to Two Best Friends and a Dummy Day. Okay then. <laughs> Let's celebrate Two Best Friends and a Dummy. And if Dummy Squish is anything like real Squish, he'd want to post this on Germbook. 
What are you doing? We're dancing with a dummy in the park. I know. It's perfect for Jermba. <laughs> Incredible. I haven't even posted my new super cool stairs selfie yet, and they already love it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oops, sorry, didn't see you there, Squish. I was too busy watching this new viral video on Germ Book. What? Ooh, that's Peggy and Pod. And they're getting more likes than me. Because they're funnier than you. <laughs> no, they're just stealing my fans with that stupid copy of me. But that won't last once I post my selfie of the century. This Peggy? I mean, aren't we being just like Squish now? Yes, but way more popular! <laughs> Hello, old fan. This selfie will be just like last time, but much bigger. <laughs> up here for the whole weekend. Must call my followers for assistance. H-E-L-P. Help! <laughs> oh, I knew they'd come through. Awesome. So cool. LOL. No, I really need H-E-L-P. Oh, they just comment, like, share, and subscribe. Can anyone out there actually rescue me? Look down. Squish! Peggy, you came! Uh, you are here to help, right? And not just post some funny pictures of me for your own site? Of course, Squish! Yes! <laughs> when our best friend asks for help, help, we don't just send an emoji. We send... A crane! Oh, I'm saved! Squish, are you okay? Yeah. Oh, we don't need that dummy anymore. You're our dummy now, Squish. I mean, our best friend. Oh, you guys are the only ones who really cared about me. Not like all my so-called fans. I'd rather have two real friends than millions of followers on Germbook. Now let's celebrate Three Best Friends Day. Ever. And it only got two likes. One from me. And one from me. Those are the only two that really count. So, happy Three Best Friends Day! My name is Squish. I'm an amoeba dude. A tiny little cell with a giant head. This is Pod, break it down. We are microscopic cells in a microscopic town. I'm Peggy. I'm Peggy Paramecium. Yes! Yes! What? 
happy yeah, and we're, we're slimy. slimy. And sometimes we're just a mess. This is Small Pond. It's always really fun. If you want to make a friend, you might make more than one. Squish! That's my name. Squish! Squish! Still my name. Squish! No! No, no, no! Super Amoeba! Will he reach Baby Bacteria in time to save her? Don't worry, Baby Bacteria! I will reach you in time to save you! <laughs> Super-powered plasma bounce! Ow! You okay, Squish? We need to get ready for school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what were you thinking? Well, isn't it obvious? I was heroically wounded while saving a baby bacteria. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it is? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess it is, but it's no big deal for a hero like me. Wow, you're too modest. Everyone needs to know about this. <laughs> right, good one, Peggy. Go tell the whole world. <laughs> Whoa. That's Super Squish! Such a hero. What a guy. Weird. Oh, will you take a picture? Will you take a picture? Uh, sure? <laughs> Gotta say, I'm impressed, hero boy. High five! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what the cell is going on here? Hmm. It seems like they've mistaken you for some kind of hero. No mistake. Squish is the biggest hero Small Pond has ever seen. Yeah. Uh, Peggy, do you have something to do with this? Of course. I was so proud of you saving that baby bacteria before. I had to tell the whole world, just like you suggested. What? No, 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 no. That was a joke. How many kids did you actually tell? Oh, a few. <laughs> that's how he became the most amazing, incredible, and heroic Super Squish ever. <laughs> Thank you. What an amoeba hero. No, 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 no. None of that is true. You need to set the record hmm. straight, Squish. Yeah, you're probably right. Probably? <laughs> well, I mean, look at how much everyone loves me. What? I did throw myself into harm's way before, and if there was a baby bacteria there, I would have totally saved it. Just be honest. Please. Oh, but that's embarrassing. No one cheers for a guy tripping over himself in his own living room. Exactly. Okay, hmm. everyone. Form three lines. One for autographs, one for photos, and one to just stand in the presence of our greatest hero. <laughs> Come on, Squish. Tell them. <sighs> uh... Yeah, well, see... I, I didn't really do anything. Oh, don't be so modest, Squish. You're our hero. Oh, I, I just saved that baby bacteria! Just making things worse, Squish. Ah, oh, come on, Pod. Can't I have a few harmless moments of fun and fame? 
Can't you just tell the truth before it goes too far? Hey, what do you think if we build our statue of Super Squish over there by that adorable puppy? Aw, so cute. A statue of me? Does that count as too far? Over here, boys! Hope you don't mind, Squish. I invited some news crews from our local TV stations to interview you. Ha! Hi, interview? M -m 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 me? Uh, on TV? Yes! They're making a documentary about our town's greatest hero that will air on every single TV in uh. Small Pond. The publicity will help raise funds for your new statue. Oh, isn't this great? Well... Oh, I know what's missing. Everybody loves Super Squish! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Super Squish loves babies! Uh, I'm not a baby. But Super Squish loves pets! Careful, Squish! That's a Geobacter bacteria, and... And I am Super Squish! I think I can handle a little pet. Don't! Uh, what just happened? Well, I was just saying, scientific fact. Some geobacters can produce electricity. This electro puppy belongs to the art teacher, but pets aren't allowed in school, so he has to leave it out here. Oh no, my precious pet! Someone, anyone, save her, please! Have no fear! Our hero is here! Ah, that looks slightly impossible, even for me. Come on, Pod, give me a hand! I can, but I think you should tell the truth, Super Squish. But I can't. Now it went too far. Dun, 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 super Squish! Go, Super Squish, go! Oh. Listen to him. But who will save that poor puppy? <laughs> you might not be a hero, but you can still save the city. These rubber gloves should protect you from those shocks. Yeah. Super squeeze. Hmm. You can do this. Come on. Sorry, Peggy, but it won't be me. I have no superpowers. I'm just a liar. A huge liar who never saved anyone. Huge! Oh, 
If I save the pet and the town, then maybe I am a hero. Yeah. Right, Pod. I promise to tell the truth. Can you hold this? Tell us, how does it feel to be Small Pond's hero? I'm no hero. I'm just a clumsy guy with some rubber gloves that my good friend gave me. And I got lucky. Now that's the truth. <laughs> See how everything works out when you're honest. 